Have you ever wondered how devices communicate with each other? Well, this is all made possible by something called computer networks. In essence, a computer network is a collection of interconnected devices, such as computers, servers, routers, and switches, all capable of communicating and sharing resources. These networks can be as small as a few devices in a single room, or as vast as the global internet. But why are computer networks so important? For starters, they enable seamless communication between devices, allowing us to share data, resources, and information. They also allow us to share hardware resources like printers and storage devices, maximizing efficiency and reducing costs. Furthermore, computer networks empower collaborative work environments, letting multiple users access and work on shared documents simultaneously. And lastly, through networks, we can access vast amounts of information and services available on the Internet, enhancing our capacity for research and knowledge acquisition. Now that we understand what computer networks are and why they are essential, let's dive into their components. Computer networks are composed of several key elements. Let's start with nodes, the devices connected to the network, like computers, servers, or printers. Then we have links, the physical or logical connections between nodes, which could be wired or wireless. Next up are switches and routers, these networking devices are in charge of forwarding data packets between nodes. Lastly, we have protocols, the rules governing communication between devices. Think of TCP IP or Wi-Fi. With these components in place, a computer network can function efficiently. But did you know there are different types of computer networks? Not all computer networks are the same. Each serves a unique purpose and caters to different needs. Let's delve into the four main types. First, we have Local Area Networks, or LANs. These networks span small geographic areas, like a home, office, or school campus. They're like mini-cities, connecting all the devices within their limits. Next up, we have Wide Area Networks, or WANs. Think of them as countries or continents, connecting smaller LANs or other networks over larger geographic areas. The largest of these is the Internet itself, connecting devices worldwide. Then we have Wireless Networks. They're like invisible highways, enabling communication between devices without physical constraints, using radio waves. Wi-Fi and cellular networks are prime examples. Lastly, we have client-server and peer-to-peer -peer networks. In the former, central servers act like service providers to client devices. The latter allows central devices server. to interact directly. These are the types of networks that encompass our central digital server. World. These are the types of networks that encompass our digital world. But what are some examples? Computer networks are all around us. The Internet, a remarkable example, connects billions of devices worldwide, facilitating communication, information sharing, and access to online services. It's the largest and most widely used network globally. On the other hand, we have intranets. These are private networks within organizations that use Internet technologies to share information and resources among employees promoting collaboration and efficiency. From the vastness of the Internet to the privacy of intranets, computer networks shape our digital experiences.